Hey dude, it's Casey, how are you? Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Casey and I'm a skincare and makeup enthusiast. I am not a professional in either of these fields in any way, shape or form. If you have any ideas of things that you would like me to talk about or try, then please leave a comment down below or you can reach out to me on Twitter. With that being said, let's get into today's video. Today I wanted to show you my nighttime skincare routine. Uh, I've already done a video on my daytime one, my daily skincare routine, my morning skincare routine. And so I thought, why not do my nighttime one at night? It's currently 8.30 at night and I need to go to bed. So I have already cleansed my face. My eyes are quite red. I did a makeup look today. That'll be a video that has been posted already. So I was trying to get my eyeshadow off and of course my eyes are quite sensitive. I use, I don't always wear makeup so I don't always use this cleanser. Um, most of the time I can just micellar water my face but I really needed something to get the eyeshadow off my eyes. So I used the Ordinary Squalane cleanser. This one? I don't know if it's going to focus. I quite like it. It's pretty good. Um... It removes my makeup really well when I'm wearing it, but I have noticed that it does irritate my eyes a little bit. It doesn't hurt, it just makes my eyes red, which is great. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> um, with that, I do always go, after using that, I always do eye micellar water just over my face. So I use this micellar cleansing water for sensitive skin from Garnier. Um, and these are the bamboo cloths I use. This is a clean one. So these are the cloths I use. So they're made from bamboo and cotton, I believe. Yeah, so they're made from 70% bamboo and 30% cotton. So I, it says not to machine wash them. I've just now realised reading this label, but that's what I do to clean them. Um, but you can hand wash them as well. But these cloths were actually um, for babies. They're like marketed towards young parents or like parents of newborns because they're very gentle they're good for really like sensitive skin so that's why I got them and also it's a better alternative to makeup wipes and um, cotton rounds because they're very they're very wasteful products so this is what I use pretty much every night before going to bed when I'm not wearing makeup I'll do this um, I usually have showers in the evenings after work, so I do usually do a double cleanse, but my shifts have now changed, so I'll be having my double cleanses in the morning. But I will always use this before I go to bed. And that squalane cleanser I will use before I use my micellar water if I'm wearing makeup, just to get the makeup off. And then I use the micellar water to get any little bits that I may have missed off my face. So I've already done those. I didn't want this video to be like, as long as the last one that I made. Uh, and I've already put some of this on. The Sukin Spot Banishing Gel. Uh, so far it's worked for me. I've still got this fucker right here. So that's great. I love that. So the two main differences, not four, the two main differences in my nighttime routine, as probably most people have these differences, is I use an exfoliator, chemical exfoliator. And I use a night cream rather than a day moisturizer. I use a nighttime moisturizer. I'm going to do my toner slash exfoliator. So I've got this one. It's from Youth to the People. Kombucha and 11% AHA exfoliation power toner. Lactic and glycolic black tree tree bark. So it's a kombucha one. So that's the, you can see it, a little bit of kombucha thing in there. Um, but that's the exfoliator and toner. I, I'm such a huge fan of products that double as things. I've got another one over there that is an essence and an exfoliator into one. So I just love it. I feel like I'm using less products, producing less waste, which is really nice. Like, you know, and I love when they're glass bottles. That's really good. They can be recycled and reused. So I'm just going to put this on one of... Now this is my dirty one that I've been using today. Find a clean spot on it. I only have five of these, the um, bamboo cloths. So at the end of my work week, which is Friday, I put them in the wash um, after I 
Do my nighttime moisturize? Do my nighttime moisturize? I do my nighttime skincare routine. They only need to go in a delicate cycle, which is only like 30 minutes. And I put it in with other things as well. These aren't the only things that I wash. It's not, I'm not wasting water. Um, so then by the time in the morning when I go to do my morning skincare routine, they're dry. They dry so quickly. Um, so yeah, I use one a day. So one half of it is for my morning and the other half is for my nighttime. That's pretty much the easiest way for me to keep track of it. So I'm just going to put this on there. I don't know why, but I absolutely love the smell of kombucha. I like to focus around my nose and on my chin because that's where I get my blackheads and breakouts. I'm not very like harsh or anything in those areas. I just like making sure that I get really get onto those areas. I'm so shiny now. Whoa. Um, I'm quite red. I got really warm just a few minutes ago. Um, and I mentioned in a previous video that I start down here, like I get flushed and it really just starts right down here and then brings its way up. I don't know why it starts down here. I don't worry about that monstrosity. Um, goes into my ears. I love it when I flush. It's so great. Oh my god. Um, but I'm hoping uh, this routine will calm my skin down. So this is pretty indicative of what I do every night. There are a couple things in here that I might take out. There are a few things that I might put in place. But the amount of things I'm using tonight is pretty much what I use every night. My daytime skin routine that I did earlier this week. Um... That was a more like extreme example of what I might do if my skin is dealing with like it's struggling with a few skin concerns. I do that occasionally just to like help help my skin along but most of the time in the mornings I only do a cleanse, um, a moisturizer and a sunscreen pretty much. So my nighttime routine is when I can really focus on those um, on the other products adding more products into my skincare routine because I believe that if you do too much in a day to your skin morning and night. I feel like your skin would just become very overwhelmed with all of the ingredients you're putting in, you're putting onto your face. So I, I try to keep it very minimum in general. Um, but in the morning, I don't feel the need to put anything on my face extra because my face gets really dirty during the day with the kind of job I do. So I don't really see the point. Um, and then at night when I know that, you know, I change my bed sheets every week. Um, so they're pretty clean for the most part. I don't have to worry too much about my face getting too dirty overnight so that the ingredients can really like just sink into my skin without any disruption from like any dirt, whatever, bacteria, however does that stuff works. I don't know. I just don't want to overwhelm my skin, okay? So now I've got, I used this earlier as well, the Real Ferment Micro Essence from Neogen. 93% microbio ferment complex uh, and it's for sensitive skin. As I mentioned in my previous video, I prefer to go for things for sensitive skin. So I go for this one for sensitive skin. I do have sensitive skin. It's more sensitive to the touch. Um, but it also comes most sensitive skin products. Take a shot every time I say sensitive skin. Most sensitive skin products um, come without fragrances in them. They come without the harmful alcohols and things like that. So they're pretty good for your skin. It's hard to find one that comes with a fragrance or a bad alcohol in it, which is good. I wish more skincare came without fragrances and bad alcohols, but at least there's one product line that we can try for. So I'm just gonna put that in my hands. Just calm my skin down. I'm quite warm, but I can't turn my fan on in my room because you can see the shadow of it in the background and it's really disorientating when I watch these videos back like in editing. I'm like, whew. As we go gentle, I'm just patting that into my skin. Might do another layer of it actually just to like cool my skin down. That feels nice. So I'm using my phone as a mirror as well. Okay, I'm just going to do another layer. Um, I've already mentioned this, but I know in South Korea, I think also Japan, probably just South Korea, Korea, mm -hmm. um, they're massive on that seven step process of doing your essence like seven times in a row and how I think a lot of South Koreans still follow the 10 step 
routine, which mine got really close to that at one point. When I first started getting into skincare, I went crazy. I bought everything that I thought I needed that, every, that like YouTubers that I started watching and told me to get. And I was like, right, bye, bye, bye. And now I'm like, I don't know how I afforded that back then. I sure as hell can't afford that now. <laughs> But it's good. It's sort of giving me the excuse, sorry. It's sort of giving me the excuse to actually go through all of those products I have. There is so much over there. <laughs> like, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> like, I love collecting stuff, but it's embarrassing for me because, like, to me, I'm embarrassing myself to myself because I'm like, you can't afford that, bitch. Why did you even try? <laughs> so that's done. I like my skin feeling um, hydrated as I'm sure everyone else does. I don't know who wouldn't. But I love the look of like shiny glass skin. There's a difference between looking shiny and oily. Like this to me looks shiny. Whereas sometimes when people look oily, it looks like there's a full just film over their skin. And I feel so bad for them because oiliness is so hard to control. I used to have oily skin in high school as probably most teenagers did during uh, adolescence. <laughs> Um, but it's so hard to control. You pretty much just have to strip your skin raw. Like as a kid, as a teenager, you have no, no idea about all of these amazing, incredible products out there in South Korea and Japan that are so innovative and revolutionary and ahead of our time in our Western culture. You don't even realize that those exist. So you kind of just have to, you know, buy that proactive stuff that just strips your skin of all oils, all good oils as well. And it just dries you the fuck out. And then it gives you the like reverse of what you were struggling with, oily skin. So now you just struggle with extremely dry, dehydrated skin. So I try to keep that balance in the middle. Like I, I have normal skin now. Now I have another Ordinary product. I love the Ordinary. I need to get more of their stuff. No, I don't. I've got plenty here still to try. Stop it, Casey. So I'm still not quite sure what this does. Wait, actually, I think I have it in, oh, I was gonna say, it's in my phone. Where's my phone? My phone's recording me. Hmm. <laughs> Such a dumbass. Um, but it's the Buffet, the Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. I love this stuff. Like it just cools my face down so much. It's a serum. I don't know if it's, it's not even going to focus. Thanks phone. Um, I love this serum so much. I got rid of the box, which would have told me what it did. Um, now I keep boxes after I realized that I probably should have kept the box for this. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff. It just really cools me down. I need to do some more research into this type of serum. I will have a video coming up, I think next week or by the end of the week. I think next week talking about serums because my last one was essences and ampoules and then the next line the next product you do in a skincare routine is a serum so i'm going to be talking about serums hopefully i remember to talk about this serum or at least bring up some peptide serums if you know what they are or what this does please let me know in the comments down below i keep forgetting to research it so i'm just going to drop it's so like thick so bizarre. I'm just gonna rub that in. I washed my hands before this, as you always should, regardless of a pandemic or not. Always wash your hands before applying your skincare or makeup. It's nasty otherwise. So I'm just gonna rub that on first and then I'll pat it in. I like to rub it on first so that I know that it's over my whole face. Whereas when I pat it, sometimes I miss areas in my face and it's already dry. Everything just soaks up really quickly when I put things on. Not all the time, it's just when I like get really hot before I do my skincare routine. Okay, that's that. I have become a walking mirror. I love it so much. Okay, so next, something that I used in my last skincare routine again is the Sukin, same Sukin brand, the Rosehip Oil, certified Rosehip Oil, certified organic Rosehip Oil. Um, so this is for dry and distressed skin types. I don't have dry skin, but I use rosehip oil for my scarring, like my acne scarring and just everyday scarring, I guess. Um, it's really actually helped out even my skin tone just around here. So 
I used to have like quite bad scarring all around my chin. Now it's, I mean, it's still there, but it's way less than what it used to be. So how I usually do this, I don't like feeling oily, especially before I go to bed. So I usually get my moisturizer day and night and I put a few drops in my moisturizer, like on my hand. So the moisturizer I'm using is another Sukin product. I've got so many moisturizers and the night moisturizers get through that I just so happen to have so many Sukin products at once that I'm using. So this is it's for sensitive skin, their calming night cream. Again, I love using sensitive skin things and I love calming night creams. I feel like it really helps with the redness of my skin. It helps it just stay really down while I'm sleeping. Okay, so this is, ro oh, this has rosehip in it as well. I really should just read the ingredients of everything before I buy it. Rosehip, barrage, and evening primrose oils works to improve skin moisture levels, texture, and appearance. So that's good. That's what I want. I want things to just keep everything just stable while I'm sleeping and hopefully help it. But I will, I did mention this before, I am going to do a video on essential oils and which ones are good and which ones are bad. I don't have enough knowledge now to know which ones are and aren't. But in, you know, when I research videos for my skincare videos, the different types of... I learn a lot of stuff while I'm researching them, obviously. Um, but let, let me know. If you guys have watched any of those videos, please let me know. I need to make sure that they're easy to understand and they're in an order that's easy to understand. I haven't gotten any feedback on them. And, you know, I watch them back. They make sense to me. But that's because I'm the one, <clears throat> I'm the one that actually, you know, wrote that script. <laughs> so, one, two, three drops. Again, you probably only need like one to three. It just depends on how it sits on your skin. I'm gonna put it on my face. And always don't forget your neck, guys. Your neck is just important as your face. You want that looking just as smooth as your face when you're 50 or 60. Same with the back of your hands. Always look after the back of your hands. Always moisturize them. If you have anything left over on your hands, just use them on the back of your hands. It's a great way to get rid of that product rather than wiping your hands on something else. Okay, I think that's everything. Always get your eyebrows as well. Remember, everyone forgets their eyebrows. Okay, so that's everything. That's my skincare routine, my nighttime skincare routine. Sometimes I don't always use this one. I might, I have another one that I might use. And I don't always use this exfoliator. I've got like another two different exfoliators that I might use, but I never use more than one a day, ever. I pretty much use an exfoliator every second, third day, depending on what exfoliator it is. There are a few, I only use chemical exfoliators, by the way, I don't use physical scrubs. I don't like physical scrubs personally. I feel like chemical exfoliators are just much better for your skin from a scientific standpoint, because next to no damage for your skin, whereas a physical scrub can cause damage for your skin. Um, and they're specifically designed and formulated to help your skin the best way possible to give you the maximum effects of an exfoliation without causing harm to your skin. So I have a few different ones that I might use, but I never use more than one in a skincare routine. And I never use more than one a day. Um, don't overdo it on exfoliators. It can be really harmful. Even if they are chemical ones, your skin doesn't need over exfoliating. There are some things on your face that your skin needs um, and stripping them of that can cause irreversible damage for your skin or just it's really hard to deal with. So yeah, that's everything. That's my nighttime skincare routine. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, any of the products I used, have you guys used? Is there anything that you want me to try? Is there... What does your nighttime skincare routine look like? Please leave a comment down below or you can reach out to me on Twitter. Uh, I genuinely hope you found what you were looking for today in this video. If not, I am so sorry. I hope it was at least entertaining for you. And um, with that being said, take care of yourselves, be kind, and I'll see you next time. See you, dude.